It's smooth as butter. It's green, not any other color. Avocado, the showstopper. Guacamole, it's our honor. In today's video, we're gonna talk all about avocado do's and avocado don'ts. We're gonna go over why avocado is good for you and what you must do or don't with it. So, if you're a guac lover, this video is for you. Are you ready? Then let's go. First of all, we're gonna go over some of its benefits. Benefit number one, your body becomes a fighter. Eating avocados is a way to make your immunity skyrocket. Because of the vitamin A and E in avocados, eating them not only will reduce the complications of infections and recovery time after surgery, but may also lower your risk of certain cancers. Benefit number two, digestion will be easier. If you add some Ava magic to your diet, your digestive system may run smoother than ever before. Because for a good digestive system, we need fiber and vitamins. And guess who has both? Yes, you guessed right. Avocados! Benefit number three, the creaminess. Monounsaturated fats are the secret agents of healthy fats. And 80% of an avocado is made out of this kind of fat, and that makes it a smooth, creamy goodness. Try a ripe avocado to see what we're talking about. But before we get to the next part, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel to let us know that you enjoyed the video. Thank you! Now that you've figured how good avocados are, you may think, what if I eat an avocado every day? Well. We have research about that as well, so you won't have to. If you want to eat avocados every day, here's what you must do and what you shouldn't do. Number 1. Try finding the ripe one. Choosing a ripe avocado is like finding a good melon. You gotta tap into your inner avocado whisperer. Look for the dark, soft ones and give the stem a gentle tug. If it pops off of the green light, you're good to go. Number 2. Eat them with the citrus fruits. Adding citrus fruits like lemon or lime to avocados will be a way to tell your body that you're doing a good job at choosing the right things. The vitamin C in lemons paired with the fat in avocados makes absorption of iron from plant-based sources easier while helping you lose weight by boosting insulin sensitivity. And now, what should we not do when eating avocados? Number one. Don't eat avocados with nuts. Mixing avocados, the fats, with nuts, the proteins, is like inviting a DJ and a librarian to the same party, because they just don't go well together. Avocados might not let the protein in nuts get digested properly, so it's best to avoid eating them together. Number 2. Don't heat them. Why would you do that, to be honest? They can very quickly become bitter once heated, so avoid heating them because your creamy heaven may come down to a bitter hell. Number 3. Don't eat them at night. Avocados have tyramine, the sneaky amino acid that turns your brain into a non-stop disco party, keeping you awake when all you want is a good night's sleep just by boosting a hormone called norepinephrine. Now that you know everything, we want to give you some tips about storing them. Number 1. If the avocado is ripe, refrigerate it. And if it isn't, just leave it be. Number 2. Your avocado will stay green for at least 2 days if you refrigerate it with an onion. But it might get the onion flavor. Number 3. You can either freeze or pickle avocados for long-term storage. And that's it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in to our avocado adventure. Remember to smash that like button, subscribe for more creamy content, and share this video with your fellow avocado enthusiasts. Until next time, stay guatistic and keep on avaloving.